So as you know, there's some times where we're gonna have the lead out more, and sometimes when we have to wrap that up a little bit more. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing it like this, and I'm grabbing it again, and I'm grabbing it again, and just keep grabbing it so I can make loops, mm -hmm. but these loops are loose. So I'm grabbing it like this. Well, maybe I can do Mm -hmm. And then I just make these really nice, tidy loops on yeah. here. Now, my thumb and forefinger can control whether I let up one loop okay. or a few loops. Okay. And, and I, can also want, I also want to practice where I roll it up like this because there's going to be some times when I'm gating where I can't use this hand and I might want to let some of those yeah. loops down. Okay. So let's say I'm gating this dog and I'm in a close proximity to the judge. And so when I'm working with my dog on leash control, I may wanna have this dog a little tighter. Now, I can practice without my dog by two different ways. If I have my collar so it's down on the ground like this, then I'll see how my dog tracks. If I bring it up so the collar is off the ground, now I'm gonna be able to see, visualize how smooth I am when I move. Like some people go like this when they mm -hmm. walk and you can see that's going to put pressure on the dog's neck yeah, if you do that. exactly. So those are two things that you can do. Mm -hmm. You can have it on the ground to see tracking or you can wind it up like this to see how smooth you are in your movement. Mm -hmm. Now, when I'm doing this, I want to keep in mind that I need my hand away from my body mm -hmm. and I need it no higher than my belly button okay. when I'm practicing, especially in the beginning when you first start working a dog. Because okay. if your hand's up here, they're not gonna see that signal. Okay. okay. I also wanna get into a habit that if I'm going to communicate with my dog, that I'm gonna go, hey, pay attention, a signal's coming. Yeah. So I can either tap or I can shake and then I'm gonna use my palm direction to give the command, go forward. Okay. If I want the dog to slow down, let's say the dog's getting out ahead of me, I can let the dog know, pay attention to my hand and turn my palm backwards and that'll tell my dog back up, slow down, don't, don't go so fast. If I want to make a turn, I can signal my dog as I'm gating, that lets them know, look at my hand, turn that way. So if I want to go 90 degrees that way, I go like that. If I need the dog, if the dog's going too wide, I can shake my hand, bring my palm across my body, and that'll bring the dog closer to me. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing a free stack, then what I can do is I can be gating my dog like this and then shake my hand, say slow down so you can get in front of it, and you're going to lean forward, walk backwards, and stand just like that. Mm -hmm. So everything you need to do is in here. Yeah. If I need to take off and my dog is six feet out there because that's what I wanna do in that free stack so that dog is by itself, to help gather this lead quicker, I can take my other hand like this to create some tension. And when I do this, as long as I'm moving, you can't really tell that I'm taking too much time okay. winding this up. Okay. But watch what happens if I don't use that tension. If I just stand here and I go like this, yeah, it's that's, kind of, yeah. okay, <laughs> it's that like, was a, I why do you that. have you go like this, just, yep. all okay. that lead right, right. there? So, okay. and I practice letting it out. Okay. I'm out at the end of six feet. I put some tension, and as long as I'm walking and moving like this, yeah. getting my dog excited, no you can't tell. No one's looking at your hands. Yeah, yeah, it just makes it super that smooth. That looks smooth, really smooth. <laughs> the other thing, too, is that the normal hand, when you're in that ring, is the left hand. But how efficient do I look using my right hand? 
See, I'm able to use either my left hand or my right hand. So I did this whole demonstration for you to see it easier right. by using the opposite right. hand. Right, yeah. So that means that you have to practice with your left hand, practice with your right hand. I have to be just as smooth in, okay. in either hand and that I'm using. And how often have you had to like change hands? Oh, all the time. Really? Yeah. There could be many situations. If I'm doing an L pattern or a reverse triangle, mm -hmm. Or let's say the dog, the judge says, take these two dogs down and back together. Oh, yeah. And I don't trust this dog and I don't trust that handler. So I may have a situation where when I come back, if I have the dog in my left hand, then that means these dogs are going to be right next to each other yeah. like this. So and what you I have to think on your feet. You fast. have to think on your feet. Yeah. It, all this. But okay. if you follow the training methods that I give you, then you're going to be prepared for any situation. So, but always be prepared left hand. And you want to always let the dog understand that whatever hand has this leash, that's the hand to pay attention to whatever signals that you're giving, any commands that you're giving. That's why when people, when they have the lead hand like this and they hold it high and they do all the stuff like this, then you're telling the dog this is not important anymore. Yeah. So it's really important. Okay. So now let's put this into a situation mm -hmm. where very typical of what people have as a problem and what you're experiencing right now is your dog just wants to shoot out and head out. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why your dog is doing that is that you're creating a Disneyland type atmosphere here. And which is good, you know, the dog's excited about wanting to be out here, wanting to be in the ring, go mm -hmm. to special events and things like that. But when this dog comes in here, it starts looking at everything and go, oh my gosh. It's like you going to your favorite department store. Yeah, exactly. When you, when you walk into that department store, you're like, oh, where do I want to go? Yeah, and you can see him <laughs> in the videos. He's looking yeah, around. Yeah, he's looking around. Like, so when yeah. he sees something that gets his attention, maybe yesterday you were practicing on this object over yeah. here, then, oh, I want to go do that. Yeah. And yeah. so he, he's not being unruly. He's just saying, oh, I want to yeah. take off and go do that. So when you first come in the ring, you have to remind him, hey, this is what you need to pay attention to. And let's say you're my judge. So you just stand there and look judge-like, so don't smile. <laughs> so if you're my judge and you want me to take off in that direction over there, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this gathered up so it's lead control, it's short enough that my dog's not gonna jump on you. I'm gonna have it on the ground so you can see how this tracks, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be aware of where your toes are pointed. So that means you want me to go that direction. So I take my dog, I get my dog past you, and when my dog is past you, I'm gonna face my toes against your toes, which tells me that my butt needs to go the opposite direction. I'm not gonna get in your bubble, but I'm gonna be right here in front of you. I'm gonna put my hand in between our belly buttons, shake my hand to let the dog know, pay attention to this. My palm direction is gonna go this way. And as I back up, you're looking at me, right? But now look down. This dog is right in front of you. Yeah. And you didn't get to see all that awkward stuff. Yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step away from this hand. And because I shook this hand, as I was backing up and my palm was facing this direction, the dog knows, pay attention to this hand. Mm -hmm. Now here's another scenario. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this again. And when I do it again this time, and I go like this, as soon as I turn like this with no communication, this dog is now, I'll switch over to this hand for a second. This dog is looking at all this and what's it gonna do? It's yeah. gonna shoot out and take off. Yeah. So that little exercise right there, anytime you take off with your dog, if you're facing the dog and your hand is in front of your belly button and you shake your hand with the palm direction and where you wanna go, the dog pays attention to this hand. Mm -hmm. So that right there in itself could eliminate 
that dog pulling on that leash. Mm -hmm. So if you have a dog that wants to just take off because it sees Disneyland out there, then that's a great exercise. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing is this dog may just want to pull all the time. So we have to stop that. We have to correct that. The easiest way to do that is that when we're doing this with our dog, then all of a sudden my dog starts leaning out, leading out, I'm gonna go, ah! Shake my hand, pull it backwards like this until I get the dog where I want it, which would be level with my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Tap my leash and go forward again. The dog starts leading out, ah! Back, 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 back. And then correct the dog. And then take the dog in like over here and over there and over here. And you want the dog in the beginning to accidentally do things incorrectly. So it gives you an opportunity to use mm -hmm. that correction sound. Yeah. <clears throat> and if you do that enough, even when the dog is completely excited, you can start to really bring that down where you shake that and go, ah, 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 ah. And that dog will know what it's doing mm -hmm. is unacceptable and start to come back to where you want it to go. So are you supposed to have like a low voice when in the ring, like ah, ah? In the or? ring, I want to have quiet corrections. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but if the dog is doing something that could endanger it or another dog, yeah. then I'm going to be more stern. Yeah. Okay. So the level of the correction is going to match or exceed the level of what the problem is. Okay. So if the dog is just doing something simple, I might go, ah. But if it looks like it's getting ready to take on another dog, ah. So a little bit more okay. severe. Okay. Walk. Ah, 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 ah. Easy. Walk. Walk. Stay. Ah. 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 <laughs> Up here. Stand. Okay. It, it, kind of like if you were to, to think of a puppy chewing on a dog's adult dog's tail. That adult dog's not going to like those sharp needle puppy yeah. teeth biting. So it's going to go, ah. Let the, let the puppy know that that's not acceptable. <laughs> and if the puppy doesn't stop, then it's going to go, ah. <laughs> and give it a more stern yeah. correction right there. Okay. All right. Fine. Good. Okay. That's a good boy, yeah. Okay, now don't let him tag you like that. Oh. Where he jumps on you. So can okay. I borrow yeah. him? Ah! Yeah. Good, 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 good. Yay, that's so good. Ah! Good, good, good. See, he jumped but didn't touch me. So okay. I shake my hand. Here we go. Good, good. Ah, ah. Good, good, this way, this way, good, here we go. Good, 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 okay. good, good, over here, over here. Very nice, over here, over here, wait, wait. Oh, that's good, yes. Oh, look at how good you are. <gasps> yes, yes, good job, good job. Okay, so I have him in this hand, over here. Let's go this way, good, slow down. Over here, wait, wait, wait. See how the lead's not tight at all? Mm -hmm. He's following these, ins over here, over here. Good, good, good. But he always wants to stop right Very in front Very nice. Of you. Okay, so I get you in front, it. put yeah. my hand between me. I go forward, turn and go. Okay. Over here, over here, good, good. Around we go. Very nice. Wait, wait. Over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. Good, wait. Now see, if I try to take off, he wants to get out in front of me. Stay. Back up, turn and go. Ah, 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 ah. Over here, good, wait. I'm gonna get in front of you again. Back up, turn and go. Wait, ah, 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 ah. Yay! Good job! So it's going to take some time, but every time he tries to take off, I do the ah, 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 and then I bring him over, and if I do this with, ah, if I do this with two hands, then that emphasizes that a little bit more. If I do that with one hand, right now, may not be enough energy okay. to get him over there. So I'm going to go okay. like this. Good. Over here. Very nice. Ah! Good, this way, this way, this way, stand. 
Oh, look at that stand. Look at that stand. And I'm going to put this on my right hand, which is the other hand that I normally don't use. And I'm going to drag this leash so it's like right off the ground. Now, as I approach here, I have to wind this up so it goes over the top and then try to drop this down again so it's right above the ground. So I may have to take up another loop. Then I'm going to come over to here and this is going to hit this target. So I'm going to bring up one loop, bring it over, drop it down one loop. That's a little too high. So I'll bring up another loop here, come over here. When I get to this, I may have to do two loops, drop it back down over to here. When I get to this side, I'm going to grab my leash again in this hand. Now, when you grab your leash here, you want to put your pinky through that little loop right there. So let me show you how I did that again. So I'm wrapping this up like this and I'm going to switch hands. Now, when I switch hands, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get my pinky into that loop right there so I can grab this. <laughs> so it's going to take some time. Yeah, I guess but, I need to see how you did that again. Yep. So here it's on my pinky. Yeah. And I wrap this up. So these loops are loose inside my hand. Now, if I need to switch hands, then see this little pinky right there? See where that pinky, the end of the leash is at? Yeah. I can take and put my pinky in here. So my pinky's okay. inside and I grab that whole bundle of, of lead okay. again. And as I grab this, I'm gonna come over to here Bring up another loop, let a loop down, come over to here, bring up another loop, let a loop down, come over to here, bring up a couple of loops, let a couple of loops down, and then back to here again. Okay, so was I supposed to start with this hand? So you're going to start with your right hand. Oh, okay. And go to the end, and then after you get to the end, you're going to switch hands and do it on the way back. Now, you don't have to do this at a running speed. Later on, you'll start to get faster and faster. And then switch. But in the beginning, I want you to try this exercise just nice and slow. Okay. And just bring up some twists, okay. let some out. So this is a group of skills that you can do okay. here that'll start to get you yeah. with your, yeah. your left hand, your really right hand. These are really good exercises for exactly. me, Exactly. Okay.